London, England. Asubuhi ya leo hapa katika hoteli hii ya Mayfair kuna kongamano lijulikanalo kama Tanzania Investment Forum 2011. Kongamano hili ambalo limetarishwa na country factor wakishirikiana na ubalozi wa Tanzania na Uingereza pamoja na taasisi na wizara tofauti kutoka katika Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. Hapa wamekutana wataalamu kutoka nyanja za serikali na nyanja binafsi. Wataalamu na wawakilishi hawa wako hapa kuangalia nafasi za uwekezaji nyumbani wa Tanzania. Hapa wako wawekezaji, wawekezaji watarajiwa, wafanyabiashara wa kawaida na watanzania ambao wamekuja hapa kujaribu kuangalia na kuona ni namna gani watachukua advantage na nafasi zilizopo. Hebu tumsikilize moja ya mgeni kutoka nyumbani Tanzania. Hello, uh, my name is Jamal Hussein. Uh, I'm at the Investment Forum, Tanzania Investment Forum in London. I'm from Citibank uh, Tanzania. I'm the CEO of Citibank Tanzania Limited. I'm here for this conference in order to promote Tanzania for investments. Uh, it's a big conference attended by many people who are interested in investment opportunities in Tanzania. Thank you. Mgeni rasmi katika kongamano hili ni Mheshimiwa William Geleja, Waziri wa Madini na Nishati ambaye amekuja kuiwakilisha serikali ya Tanzania. We encourage private sector to come up and team up with us. And the other thing that uh, we have been trying to do to entice private sector participation in our endeavor to improve our social and economic status is to have friendly but also investors, uh, uh, in, 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 investors uh, friendly uh, frameworks on our legal systems. Over the time since when we have opened up our policies coming from the centralized economy to free market economy, we have formulated, we have come up with different policies but also legal frameworks. But all of these have reflected our commitment to make sure that uh, we give cognizance to private sector participation and then all along it has been like that. Together with that, we operate in a, in a, in a situation where we've got uh, independent regulators. And of course, some of you who have been to Tanzania will appreciate that. So all these this aspects, this fact, these tools make Tanzania a special country and we believe that uh, they create rules, they create circumstances, they create you know, special places for foreign investors to come and they invest in Tanzania. Because I know that uh, at 14 hours, we have another session on mine and infrastructure aspects. I would like very much on, on the portfolio that I run, meaning the Ministry of Energy and Minerals. I would more like to go at this stage to, to, to very much on the potential of challenges and the expectation of the country out of the two sectors. I hope at that time we we'll have more time to talk about and to explore more on what we offer to the world. Thank you so much. baada ya hotuba ya waziri ilikuwa nizamu ya wawekezaji wataalamu kutoka kwenye serikali ya Tanzania na taasisi binafsi ambao wote walikuja wakaelezea nafasi zilizopo Tanzania na namna gani zinaweza zikatumiwa kuleta maendeleo na kukuza uchumi wa Tanzania 
baadaye ilikuwa zamu ya wawekezaji kusema ni nini maoni yao kuhusu hali ya uwekezaji Tanzania so you are one of the best company countries to operate in i think in the whole of africa and and we very much hope you stay that way let me end here by saying karibuni sana Tanzania welcome to Tanzania and we are very pleased to be with you it's a pleasure for us to have such a successful event that uh, country factor has coordinated on the services and uh, the incorporation of uh, our high commissioner in the UK and the Ireland. Your Excellence, I'd like to thank you so much for your entire effort that you have employed to make this event a success. Thank you so much. For some of you who will be traveling away, I wish you one day as you fly back to your home destinations. For some of you who wish to come to Tanzania, we will welcome you. Our official anniversary day will be on the 9th. Welcome you to join us in Dar es Salaam. But even if you will not be able to come to Tanzania, join us in celebration wherever you will be. But once again, as I say, I'll be here for the next three days. For those ones who want to meet with me, discuss about investment opportunities in Tanzania, I'm more than willing to work with you for quite some time, for the remaining two and a half days. I'm camped here, and I don't really expect that I'll be moving from this hotel because of uh, the evening that I'm enjoying to host you for some of you who want to meet with me, discuss business. Thank you so much. God bless you. Baada ya mkutano wa siku nzima kuhusiana na uwekezaji nyumbani Tanzania, tunataka kumuuliza maswali machache ku Alviona. Tumefurahia sana mambo yaliyosema, lakini tungepanda ufahamu zaidi. Mheshimiwa no, karibu London. Asante sana. <laughs> Asante. Mwache na shukuru sana. Asante. Naam. Eh vipi mkutano umeona una una nani una manufaa yote? Ya yeah, naam kwanza nipende kutumia nafasi hii tu kupitia nyie kuwashukuru sana wa Tanzania lakini tuwashukuru sana wa Tanzania wanaoishi hapa Uingereza kwa kushikia na wawekezaji ambao wamewekeza kule Tanzania na wenye nia kuja kuwekeza Tanzania kwa kuandaa mkutano huu mkutano huu ni sehemu ya maadhimisho ya miaka hamsini ya uhuru kwa nchi yetu na kama ulivyoona walio coordinate kwa kweli ni wawekezaji kwa kushirikiana na ofisi yetu ya borozi wetu hapa Uingereza na tunawashukuru sana kwa hilo na tumefurahishwa sana na na, na mahudhurio lakini pia na kile chozungumzo katika mkutano huu Asante sana kuna kuna baadhi ya ya watu umewasifia baada ya ulikuwa unafunga mazungumzo ulikuwa umemsifia yule mwanamke wa Kenya Barbara Njau aliyofisifia Tanzania alafu umezungumzia pia Barik ile kwa nini umevitaja vitu hivyo vi, vi, viwili umetaja vitu vingi lakini hivyo vimesimama zaidi naam ni kweli tume nimesifia ni wa, wasilishi wa presentation iliyofanywa na na na, na wa Kenya na hasa kupitia taasisi yao uh, isiyo yule ni Kenya kwa uraia lakini anafanyia intelligence uh, taasisi ya intelligence ni kwamba wameelezea amefanya presentation uh, pepe yake ilikuwa imesheheni data imejaa vielezo vya kueleza jinsi gani uchumi wa Tanzania ulivyokuwa unavyoendelea kukua na unavyotarajiwa kukua sasa ile ilikuwa inatupa fursa wanajua wakati mwingine kujisemea mwenyewe highlight ladha sana na wakati mwingine watu wanaweza kuona kama unajisifu sposta hili lakini leo tumeona wenzetu na hawa na na na, na, na hii presentation inayofanywa na wa Kenya Barbara haikufanywa na yeye kama binafsi imefanywa na kwa ajili kwa niaba ya taasisi yao na taasisi ile ni hapa Uingereza wamefanya tathmini wamefanya study wamefanya utafiti wao wameshirikisha taasisi mbalimbali za dunia hii na kuipima Tanzania kuona ilipokuwa ilipo na kuelekea kwa kweli tumefurahi sana na mambo kama haya nadhani yanahitaji kusemwa